So let's see if you get those emails pretty soon. Uh, now, once again, I want to go back to the CSGI homepage right over here is the link for that. Okay. So when, when you first make a subsite, which, which the, this is, it, be, it comes what we call a team site. And this is the general look and feel. Now in your company, they probably use a template and, and you, you already have your logo and stuff like that. But let me show you how we can start to customize these pages. Uh, now the, the, the SharePoint site itself can have, you know, numerous pages, as many as you wanted to, and uh, numerous libraries and folders. And so your, your site is really not limited at all. It, it could start to grow and uh, exactly, that's exactly what we're going to talk about today is how to add pages and how to edit the pages and, th and things like that. This is our home page for the site. This is what everybody would say. So let me show you how we will start to edit that. If you notice up here on the uh, toolbar, uh, on the on the tab bar, it does say page. So I'll pick on page and I'll pick on edit. Now notice how it, it has a choice that's called checkout. Now you could make it so this page uh, needs to be checked out so that somebody has to edit that. We're going to talk about that process. One of the, one of the great one of SharePoint's great advantages is that you know uh, only one person might be able to edit that document at a time. Uh, but there are settings that we have to do to make that enabled. Right now, I can just edit that without a problem. I'm going to click on Edit. Now, when we edit these pages, you're going to see now it's going to be very, very similar to something like um, Word or PowerPoint, uh, things that you're used to. So, for example, <clears throat> there's different parts of the uh, there's different parts of the web page. So I'm just going to click on this top part. See how I, I know I have it selected because I have the black cross star. And I'm actually going to delete that whole section right there. All right. Uh, so you can always add things in. You can take things away. And I'm going to say welcome to our CSGI SharePoint homepage. Now after today's class, uh, I'm going to keep it up. So I'm going to go ahead and pick on uh, bold. And, you know, the formatting is things that you guys are familiar with, I'm sure. So that's not a big deal. Uh, we'll make it centered. And then let's say I wanted to have a picture. So uh, again, notice how the tabs changed up there. Just like in, in Word or PowerPoint or Excel, the tabs will change depending on where you are on the, uh, on the document. So I'll pick on insert right there. And then notice how I could do uh, like a table that you might have in Word or pictures or videos or audios. Later on down the class, we'll do app part and web part. Um, but I'll pick on a regular picture from my computer. I'm showing you this, uh, guys, to show you that when you really get into these pages, you're going to see a lot of familiar features, uh, especially you have, if you have Windows 8 and Microsoft Office 2013. Uh, Windows, uh, SharePoint 2013 will be very similar to this, as we uh, as we say. Now, I, I got a copy of your guys' logo, and I'll pick on that, and I'll pick on Open right there. And notice how that came up. Of course, I could resize that. All right, looking good. So now um, there's lots of things we can do this page. I'm just kind of getting started with that, of course, but uh, I'm gonna save that. 